So a few days ago I saw really interesting music video. So this is what we'll be doing today. I'll show you how you can create basically the same transition. So let's get started right away. You'll need three videos. So I'm going to start with this one and then transition to the next video. And you'll need one more clip from your video so you can add frame hold or just take a screenshot. It doesn't really matter. I chose this scene so I'm going to right click on it and add frame hold. And now it's freezed as you can see. Go at the start of the first video, move 5 frames to the right and drag the frame hold at the top. I'll just change the color of this layer so it's easier for you to follow. Just cut a frame hold right where the first video ends. Now I'll create a mask around the object. Once you're done, decrease the feather to zero and nest it. Now I'll go to the effects panel and apply transform on the nested sequence. So what I'm going to do next is bring down the scale and position it at the top right corner. Just like that. Move 3 frames to the right and duplicate the nest sequence. So hold ALT and drag it up to duplicate. Then trim it like this. I'm going to scale it up a bit and drag the position to the left slightly. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps 7 more times so that at the end there are 9 images in total. So I'm basically making each image bigger and I'm changing the position. But you can add more images or less. As always, try it out and see what looks the best for you. And I actually forgot to change the rotation, so I'll just go over it real quick. Okay, this is it for the first part of this transition. Now let's do the second part. Highlight all of the layers and nest it. Apply transform. Keyframe scale at the end. Go at the start and scale it up. Uncheck shadow angle and change it to 100. Highlight all of the keyframes and click on this. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's basically like easy. Now that we have some kind of movement, it's looking a lot better. I think that I also want to keyframe the rotation at the end to zero, then go at the start and rotate it just a bit. Let's see how it looks real quick. Yeah, that's a lot better. So I'll double click on the next sequence and apply posterize time and change the frame rate to 15. Okay, now I'll add lens distortion on the nested clip, change the curves to minus 16 at the start, then move at the end and bring it back to zero. Alright, I'm going to zoom in into the second video just because I want the gum to be at the center of the screen as much as possible when transition happens. Duplicate it, add frame hold and I'll mask out the gum, bring the feather to zero and nest it. Go right in the middle of these two clips, move 17 frames to the left, drag the frame hold at the top and trim it right where the first clip ends. Add turbo in this place. There are no specific settings for this, just increase the amount and size at the start, then go at the end and change it to zero. Right click on it and nest it. Apply transform. Keyframe scale at the end as it is, go at the start and scale it up. Uncheck shadow angle and change it to 360. Ok, so you can either leave it like this or you can add some kind of shake. If you've been following my tutorials, you already know how much I love shake sauce. I use it in every video that I create, either for a client or for a tutorial. There are a lot of shake options that you can choose from, but for this video, I'll be using Quick Hit with Flash and I believe that I use this one the most. So I'll just double click on it and apply it right where the transition happens. If you don't have the shake sauce, you can use whatever shake plugin or a preset that you have. But if you don't have the shake sauce and you do want to get it, I'll put a link in the description as well as my code so you can use it at a checkout and get $5 off. Let's see how it looks. Definitely so much cooler when we add shake to it. So yeah, this is it for this tutorial. As you can see, it's really easy to achieve this effect, so definitely try it out and let me know how it turned out. And I'll see you next week.